Hello and welcome. This is Greg McLeod with Forex Paydays, and I would like to welcome you to this brand new case study. I'm very excited to share with you. This case study is about a struggling trader, just like you maybe at this time, who using five basic steps turned 800 euros into $55,000 in just 14 days. I'm really excited to share this with you and let you know what's been going on and actually allow you to see the process so hopefully you can go ahead and do this for yourself. Now, as always, past performance is no indication of future results, and these results are not typical. Now, I'm not saying that just by watching this video you're going to make $55,000. However, if you learn what to do step by step, you will see positive results. So let's go ahead and dive into our presentation and uh, see what, what's going on. With, But I want to, uh, first of all, uh, show you the risk disclosure on your screen. Make sure you understand all the risks associated with foreign exchange trading. And make sure you read that slide very carefully. Now, now in this brand new case study, we're going to lay out a plan to show you how Andre K, a struggling trader, uh, it turned from this being depressed, being frustrated with his trading, not making any money. You know, if, you, if you've sat at the computer and you've, you know, you've learned, you read the books, you read the DVD, you watch the DVDs, and and you've been on all the webinars and you've watched the YouTubes, and still you've tried to put together a strategy and still wind up losing money in the market. Well, I have good news for you. We're going to show you a way out a way up a way up and a way out so you can uh, att attain the goals of forex trading that you've always uh, wanted to and uh, to, to uh, actually be a part of uh, you you hear about many people who have failed in trading you know in fact it's said that 90 percent of all forex traders lose and you hear that over and over again from the establishment from the media from the brokers and you're probably wondering to yourself if so few people um, uh, have ever achieved success? Do I even have a chance to make money in the forex? Now, the reason that you, why you got into forex maybe for you know a chance to make more money or to to get some extra income if you, you know if you, maybe you've lost your job or maybe your job is not very secure, uh, maybe you haven't planned for retirement. Maybe you know with uh, interest rates so low, it, it's been impossible for savers to actually get ahead and the stock market is so risky and a lot of people who invested back into the year 2000 and in, in, in the in the in the boom of the internet uh, uh, time you know are really scared about getting into the market and putting their money in the trust of of a broker um, the fact that's what they call them broker because they make you more broke right um, so so maybe you're planning to, uh, to, to uh, for retirement and you want a, a way of making money and maybe you're, and you're right because they say the Social Security Administration says that 65% of all people will end up dead or broke and barely making ends meet or on government assistance if you're and if you're relying on that uh, as your income well guess what the Social Security system is not going to be in, in any better shape either because they're supposed to be insolvent by the year 2042 and so that leaves nothing for the for future generations but a big bill and a big headache and so you've you know had the foresight i want to congratulate you for having the foresight to actually choose the forex market the 5.1 trillion dollar a day market there's plenty of money there's plenty of opportunity but finding a way out and finding a way up above the fray above the the law of averages is what we're all about right now you know i've talked with traders all over the world and and um, the similar concerns about you know not being able to find a system that's consistent uh, that can make you know systematic gains or they have success they're they're at the top they're making money and they're losing money they're making money this boom bust cycle and so um, with this 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 case study we're going to look at how one student uh, that I had, Andre K, was able to take f five basic pillars and uh, actually uh, turn his trading around. Now, I've been a trainer of, for 20 years, and I've been a, a coach, a mentor, an instructor, 
and a currency analyst for FXCM and Daily FX, uh, the largest for retail forex broker in the world. Now, I've trained thousands of traders from around the world, helping them to become financially independent um, uh, through trading of forex commodities and stocks. So I'm more than qualified to help you reach your goals in forex trading. Most people I train are busy professionals, they have full-time jobs, and they don't have a lot of time to trade in the markets. And by using my system, I've helped people create a part-time income while maintaining their full-time employment. And this is powerful because it gives people options on whether they want to continue working or they want to trade full-time. But instead of telling you about it, I want to show you and I'm going to take you live inside uh, these different uh, uh, examples of Andre K and what he's been, his journey. And um, so when I first started trading, it was very difficult. Um, you know, you didn't have the, the internet was very, very uh, new and it was very diff uh, hard to find information, good information. And so I, I did books, I did tapes, you know, the tapes back then, trying to find a, a way of, uh, of making some extra income as a teacher. And then I found, uh, I, I found trading options uh, or, uh, on commodities was very profitable. And I actually did some things with soybeans. And so um, the, that's what I did. I mean, I, I tripled my account from $1,000 to $3,000 and I thought I knew everything. I thought I was invincible. Thousands of dollars tomorrow, I, I, didn't, need, I didn't need to meet anybody. However, all those dreams of making a million dollars tomorrow were, were crushed with my first margin call. This was a very low point in my life. I didn't know where to go and I was very confused and angry because I had, I had, I had money before and now I had zero money. So I figured I would, I would find someone who was successful at trading Forex and that helps, that has helped other people be successful as well. I came to the realization that if a person was successful at trading, it wasn't enough that they would have to be, they have to be able to make other people uh, be successful as well. Uh, as a teacher myself, I knew that you, you judge a teacher by his students. And Tony Robbins, a motivational speaker, uh, once said that uh, you should model someone who is already successful because success leaves clues, and he was right. And I spent time and money uh, on the courses. Uh, one a course or another, video seminars, reading another book, listening to another tape. And again, it was, it, the, I just had pieces of the puzzle, but I never really had the complete picture. And, and so I, I, I sought out to find someone. And I did find someone uh, that I could, I could emulate, that I could follow. And I decided to invest in them. And and exchange my money for their knowledge. You know, buy them dinner. I I bought them drinks. Anything like I could I could do, like I could gain as much information, not just from the presentations, just afterwards. I was hanging on to every word. And then wow, that was the best thing that that I, that I ever did. That I did for myself in order to learn. And then I was this man on a mission that once I was able to learn this. I was on a mission to help others because my mentor, uh, you know, basically told me, he says, I'm giving you a lot more education than I, I, uh, that you have money for, but I want you to pay it forward and tell other people about it. And, you know, not to send people to him or customers or clients or referrals or anything like that. It was, you know, it was just this honest, heartfelt thing that said, go out and tell other people that, they, there's another way that you can make money through trading. And so I've just been on this mission uh, teaching people and helping them. And, and many of you have heard, or have, maybe have heard of me, uh, who've seen uh, me on, on, on YouTube, maybe have seen uh, on video interviews. Uh, I've posted thousands of the posts on different forums and blogs, and I've wrote lots of countless articles as well. And so in my videos, you can judge a teacher by the students. You can see the people who I have, I have helped. And I, this very special student, Andre K, uh, he's going to show you, I'm going to show you through his, his journey, how he took those, those five pillars, those exact same steps, the six, uh, using my system and generated $55,000 in 14 days. From scratch, I'm going to share with you the six, those, those stages, those, those five stages. 
and uh, and I would love for you to model and 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 improve your training by 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 looking at this. And again, his name is Andre, and uh, let me go ahead and show you the pillars here. And here are the pillars, uh, of pillars of profitable trading. And it's more than defining the trend and all these things, because the, the, the human mind, when you learn, if you go to any of these webinars or workshops or corporate trainings, you know that after three or four hours and then three or four days bombarded by information, you probably don't remember a darn thing. In fact, they said the human mind will forget about 90% of what it learns in the first hour. The first hour. So, you know, you notice if you cram for a test and you take the test and you forgot everything that you crammed for. And so, so just think about that. You spend five, six thousand dollars for a course and on a weekend you fly to Florida or you go to one of these other places and you take one of these uh, big courses, you spend maybe fifteen thousand dollars in the course, you get crammed with stuff and then you don't remember a darn thing. And then you're going to trade an account, you're going to put five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars into account and you're going to trade with five percent of the information from the course, if the course was any good and you remember five percent of what uh, was taught, you're going to trade real money with that piece of information and then what will probably happen you probably blow up the account lose the money and then say the teaching doesn't work and I don't know if the teaching was any good or not however I can tell you the way that it's taught is what's the problem because you have to create a feedback loop or a loop where you reinforce and I've taught now before I taught I've been involved in Forex and trading for like 20 years I was a public school teacher uh, from 1989 to 2004 so it's that about 15 years so 15 years I've done all the brain and research and stuff on on kids learning and learning abilities how some are visual learners, some are kinesthetic learners, they only learn by doing some only learn by visuals and so they need all kinds of feedback and so by giving them different modalities now do you I'm sure you'd learn by what the modality do you, do you learn by and many of you might say hey I'm a visual learner oh um, yeah oh I can't read anything oh when I see letters it just puts me to sleep or if I hear something it puts me to sleep but I'm more of a doer show me something I can do it and so many of you I am uh, the question you what type of learner are you and if you go to a one-stop fits all, one one size fits all type of education, what's going to happen is you're going to get bored, you're going to forget, and then you got to pay a lot of money for nothing, and then you're going to lose money trying to. You were your body was at the seminar or the course, but your mind was not engaged, and so you did not retain any information. So go back to the pillars. The pillars are created in a, such a way where um, you have a mentor. And that's that's me and I'm more than qualified to be able to teach you and train you I've had people I've had someone took twelve hundred dollars and turned to a hundred thousand dollars had someone take um, like uh, I myself took fifteen thousand and turned to three hundred thousand dollars so scaling up and knowing how to trade you have to have finally a mentor um, someone's gonna give you the information so once you found the person what's next you have to have a proven strategy a strategy that has shown the test of time and that show that is institutional and institutional means it's what the banks use banks are the big players the hedge funds and banks are the big players behind the forex in this movement and if you're using things that are not used by the banks you're quickly going to get crushed by this huge like a Mack truck of volume because they're following a certain system all we want to do is like draft like draft behind the big rigs you know, let them, you know, you want to draft behind the, uh, and you know, you're bicycling, you know, bicycle race, you want to draft behind the leader and allow that drag to pull you along. And that's what you want to do. You want to find a strategy that drafts in behind the institutions, what the institutions are doing. I worked on the inside. I worked for Bank of America. I worked for uh, Forest Capital Markets. And you learn order flow and you see how that is. And the strategy that's based on order flow and based on price action is what's going to work consistently because that's what the banks are using and you would by teaming up with someone who has worked at a bank who's worked at a brokerage that is with a proven strategy that's the second pillar now the third pillar 
is yeah, you can have a mentor, you can have the proven strategy, but if you don't have focused practice, you're not going to be able to retain the information that you've learned. And practice makes perfect. Oh, well, my violin teacher said, my orchestra teacher once said, John Stankowitz, if you're out there listening, hi, <laughs> how do you do to you? And, but he said, practice makes permanent. Practice makes permanent. So if you practice it wrong, you will do it wrong all the time. So we want to have this focused practice, not just practice for the sake of doing, I did it, but were you really there? Were you really focused? Were you really present? And, and until practice, your focused practice makes it so you, you don't lose. Or, you, or when you lose, it's like, oh, really? <laughs> Why? I've practiced so much. That's why airline pilots, you know, you wouldn't want an airline pilot that took a weekend course taking how to fly an airplane and then have them fly you somewhere. It's like, no, you need to go in the simulator and practice. No, I ain't getting on a plane with you. Or if you had a doctor, you wanted to go cut on some cadavers, why don't you go cut on some cadavers before you operate on me? Or you have an attorney, why don't you go do some torts or something, you know, before you do a case? And firemen, hey, why don't you go ahead and, and you know, you know, put out some practice fires? Okay, I want a, someone who's well seasoned, who has a lot of seat time before they can, before they're able to execute and be able to uh, to do uh, the thing that they're to. That's a, it's a profession. Trading is a profession. It's not a hobby. So you have to treat it with that same type of intense, focused practice. The, the next pillar is association. Now, if you're in the supermarket, if you're at Walmart or Target, you're probably not going to meet other traders. And so, therefore, they're going to talk about stuff that's not about trading. And if you're not immersed in it, you're going to fall away. We have professional associations for, for teachers, for lawyers, for doctors. These professions, they thrive. Chemists, chemists engineers, programmers, they have associations where they minx and mingle and talk and they sharpen their skills by talking to others who are talking about the same thing okay and if you're just talking to your buddies about sports and uh, you know nascar or maybe the politics so it's uh, you know the president's doing or what the congress is doing well guess what you are not associating with people who could who could influence what you want to do which is to be a better trader Okay, and so having a, a group or an association is part of that loop of reinforcing what you've learned, especially if they're talking about the same thing and not a lot of garbage out there. You know, like maybe Ichimoku or something. Nothing against Ichimoku, but my strategy focuses on two basic chart patterns and uh, two indicators. And so everything else is not necessary. And so therefore, if someone is talking about something that's not one of those two patterns, those are not, then you're not making money. You know, it, it's, it's idle talk. So you want to associate with people that are on the same mind. They're on one accord. They say when they were on one accord, great things happened. And the last pillar, the fifth pillar is execute your plan. What, you know, they say that if you don't, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So you want to have a plan, a plan of a money management plan, an ideal trade setup plan. What's my ideal trade setup? Okay. And you want to be able to execute that. So now you've got an execution plan. I see this chart. I see that pattern. It repeats. I'm going to do this when this occurs and I'm going to do this, this, and this. Okay. And you do that, execute that plan. In your focus practice so when you're out there in the real world with real money you do it out of habit you've done it so many times that you've overwhelmed that fear that flight or fight that usually comes you know when human beings are faced with something that's on un the unknown because they they run they start heart starts beating your butterflies in your stomach you maybe you're nervous and then what happens you miss your entry because you're afraid Okay, or you're waiting for somebody to tell you to get into a trade because you have not conditioned your mind enough to overcome the animalistic instinct of fear and fl fight and flight. You want to overcome that with focused practice. And so that's that's that. Now, someone who exemplified those five pillars is Andre K. Now, Andre K is from Sweden. 
and he was a struggling trader. He was having some difficulty in trading. He made zero euro uh, for the longest time trading. And um, finally, he made his first, actually made his first 800 euros um, by just following me in our trading room, our live trading room called Pip and Run, where he actually made his first 800 live euros. And he took that to $55,000 in 14 days. And he followed these same steps. He, he reached out to me. He, he basically said, he, he said, hey, I, I wasn't failing. I was, I was miserable. I, you know, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't buy a trade. <laughs> I couldn't even buy a trade, right? And so he found me on, he actually found me on YouTube. He found the mentor. He followed the strategy. Now, he didn't come in and say, hey, well, I think we should use Bollinger Bands. It's like, no, I don't, I don't use Bollinger Bands. He didn't fight the strategy. He followed the strategy. He did the practice. He associated with other traders in our chat room, in our, in our live trading room, and he executed his plan. And um, I will show you some more about that. But uh, So um, he, he was at a point of frustration, and we all get to that point of frustration when we're looking for answers where we're trying something but you know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over again and expecting different results and so you get to that point where I'm um, you know who what, what's going on I don't know what's going on I'm placing trades I'm following this guy he says this I'm following this guy he says that this guy on the TV set then this guy on Bloomberg and what happened Andre said I went to YouTube uh, my, my, my swing trade wasn't working out you know, and so I'm going to start scalping. But then there's all kinds of guys on YouTube, you know, and he was so confused and finally came across my video. And you can know, actually see it from the chat. He says, I, he says, I'm curious how you found me. He says, I've been watching some of the Greg's videos on YouTube and then ended up on the site and enjoyed the basic ideas. Okay. So that is so. Uh, what uh, from the mouth of Andre, you know, this is not, you're retracing his journey. So the first pillar is the mentor. And again, I'm a 20-year trading veteran. I have been around this roller uh, on this ride many a time, and I've watched price action for 20 years. I get it right sometimes, you know, because I able to I'm able to see these patterns and able to craft a a, a system from people who I respect who have who have took me under their wing and have taught me as well and passed their knowledge they passed the baton on to me. And so I developed this system, the Pip and Run system, 10, 10 years ago. And uh, I, I came to uh, uh, Forex Capital Markets. I wanted to find out what was going on the inside of, of, the, of the brokerage world. And so uh, that when I came to the inside of the brokerage world, I came in on, and, and I, I went from becoming, a, a, I was on the sales desk, and I was a trading educator. And then I was a currency analyst, and I wrote articles, and I taught people, and I did webinars, and and all of that. And uh, so um, I have credentials. I'm more than qualified to to help Andre, and he knew that. He's he uh, he says he's seen my videos, and and not only that, I, I scalp. I'm short term day trading when people were saying speaking out against it. And my thing is, I did not want to. I knew when I got into trade. And I try to do a position trade just for me. I'm up 15, 20 pips. And then I put my stop in for, for 40. And I'm looking for 100. And guess what? Price comes down, I get stopped out. I'm like, going, wait, OK, I got stopped out. Well, no worries. Because if I'm right, if I have a 2 to 1 risk reward ratio, and if I'm right 30% of the time, I still make money, right? OK, I get long again. Price goes up 20 pips. Then turns and drops, and I get stops out, and I lose 40. So I go, oh, okay, that didn't work. Okay, well, don't worry. I look at one trade as a series of, like they say, look at one trade is one in a thousand trades, and I'll just keep. And then, you know what? I said, you know what? Uh, enough is enough. That thing goes up 20 pips. I am taking those pips. It rose 20 pips, and I, I took 20 pips. Well, the guy in front of me goes, well, you know you're supposed to follow the trend, and you, didn't, you cut your winner short. And I go, look, I had 20 pips. A bird in hand is worth two in the bush, right? So I, I maybe it went to 100, but I took my 20. And guess what? It went down and it went back up again. And I got another 20. 
And I go, hey, I think I got something here, right? And so I go, well, you know, I use this, these indicators and anything on my other trades. So I just kept taking trades that way over and over again, taking them repeatedly like I had been doing before I came to the, uh, this, uh, the, you know, and I'm like, you know what, maybe they don't want you to scalp. Maybe they just, what they want you to do because banks scalp, hedge funds scalp, insurance companies scalp. They get in and out really quickly, but they tell the retail trader to buy and hold. Okay. Anyway, that's a whole different topic, but um, I train people in that, and people are like going, hey, this is great. In fact, um, this is a, a, a couple of trades I did. Um, this was uh, all of one uh, one day, you know, $1,200 in a day, and just, just hitting the market for 2.4 and 3 and 10 and 9, taking some, lots of small winners. And taking lots of, um, uh, you know, uh, of of gains uh, using this C Trader platform. Now, um, when they were introduced the Active Trader platform at FXCM, um, I hit, I would hit winners just lots of green arrows, lots of winners just hitting it very quickly. Some of these trades lasted, you know, some of them lasted like 11 minutes. Some of them last uh, a few, maybe a, a half hour, 20 minutes. But here's one that lasts like eight minutes one that lasted like 10 minutes. So I get in, get out, and get flat. And not only that, I taught people how to do that, okay? Now, the next pillar is a proven strategy, okay? So when, so the the, the strategy and the strategy is the pip and, pip and run strategy, and I had a live trading show where people, it was just part of a, 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 my boot camp training, where people watch me and follow along and actually trade alongside with me. Either they trade with a demo account or they trade with a live account. It's up to them. Uh, but you can learn. It could if you could play golf next to Tiger Woods, he'll probably beat you. He'll probably beat the pants off you. But you would have learned something and had fun too. Or Phil Milkison, he probably would beat you, beat you, beat your pants off too. And he said, "Wow, I'm a, you know we probably." But you would learn from interacting with a professional. And that's one of the, the, the thing that Andre did. He said, man, if I could just get in the room with Greg and make a couple of trades, I'll be okay. Okay. And that's what, what he did with this, with this, with this Pip and Run strategy. And maybe it was, well, well, I'm not convinced about Pip and Run and short-term day trading. Well, okay, well, let's listen to this guy. He's probably mm, the 300th richest person in the world, worth several billion dollars. It's Paul Tudor Jones. And let's see what he says about picking tops and bottoms. He says, I believe that the very best money is made at the market turns. Everyone says you get killed trying to pick tops and bottoms and you make all the money by playing the trend in the middle. Well, for 12 years, I have been missing the meat in the middle, but I have made a lot of money at tops and bottoms. Okay, that's from Paul Tudor Jones. He's a billionaire, a billionaire trader. And uh, that's uh, the quote from him. I didn't, you know, I can't, I'm not going to argue with somebody who makes billions, all right? Now, you get some guy telling you, and he's, no, he's a broker. <laughs> well, that's why he's a broker. Okay. Anyway, I love my broker anyway. Brand new case study. Again, we're going to talk about the strategy. Now, I'm going to break it down what the strategy is, okay? And we're basically looking most, you know, you're, you're commonly taught that the market is bulls versus bears. Yes, bulls versus bears. Bears push things down and bulls push things up. I want to tell you the ideal trade is when we have bulls and bears on the same side of the trade. At inflection points in the market, bulls and bears are on the same side of the trade. When bears have to buy back positions to cover shorts, explosive shorts, grease, rallies happen. So let's say if price is going down, 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 and then prices start moving up to a certain point where the bears have stops, the bears have to buy their positions back. So they become buyers. Yeah, to, if you're short, you, you have to buy your position back to, to keep the money. Whether it's a stop or take profit area, it's still a buy. Bears are buying. Bears do buy. They have to buy to close your position, right? Well, guess what? 
as price when they buy their position back price starts to go that's right it goes up price is going up and bears other bears are like oh price is going oh snap price is going up i need to close my position so they start closing their position and then price goes up even more well guess what the we think the bulls are just sitting there sharpening their horns oh no they're like going hmm price is going up and it's past a certain resistance area we're going to buy the breakout so now bulls come in start buying and bears are buying and guess what everybody's buying bulls and bears who's selling nobody that's why we have big explosive moves in the market is when bears have to buy back positions to cover shorts these are called explosive short squeeze rallies short squeeze rallies why the shorts are the bears they're getting squeezed because the price is going higher they're getting scared and price continues to rocket upward now these points happen in certain times of the market we only play those points the discipline is the strategy is to only play those inflection points they happen repeatedly and there's uh, patterns to show and we can see right here where we had price trending down at an inflection point once price hit their stops I just went to town to start clicking out buy you know sell uh, buy orders buy 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 it pullbacks buys this buys you know and just clicking them out why because this zone this inflection zone that we can find all the time in charts is the area of I the ideal area where price reverses like Paul Tudor Jones said he said I made most of my money over 12 years missing that me in the middle I made a lot of money at the tops and bottoms like here okay now that's my trade okay not Paul Tudor Jones <laughs> now we've got we've established that the strategy works we established that you know billionaires use my strategy or I use billionaire strategy let's put it that way I'm not gonna be so proud to Greece that I created it but I basically stumbled upon it because no one no one's gonna tell you about it it's not in any book you know they're not gonna tell you this of course I don't want you to know why because they take your money that's how they build those the big office buildings and they pay for everything because they take the other side of your trade and they don't want you to have the right information and so anyway let's go into focus practice this is the case, again, the case study about Andre K focus practice now once Andre learned the strategy and you know he reviewed it through the videos I have through um, uh, being as part of the Forex Paydays Pip and Run Boot Camp well I uh, we have a simulator where you can practice using the two indicators the three indicators we use and the two chart patterns and um, he will and then Andre could test, you know, he can test he could test out the strategy and practice the strategy and historical data theory into practice or T I P. You want to be able to practice over and over again till it becomes a habit. And you can see chart setups all the time coming because you focus practice and that's what he did. Andre was a good student and he spent many hours um, practicing what uh, was taught to him okay and reviewing that and that so when he you know when you when he did the the live seminars with me he was able to go into practice and then apply it and when you apply something after you practice it you retain a lot more okay the next pillar is association okay and Andre got involved with our chat room. And that came that comes as part of our Forex boot camp. He learned from other people who have been trading a little bit longer using the system than him. And they also exchange ideas. People from all over the world. I have clients in Hong Kong, in Canada, in the UK, in France, in Africa, in China, in South America, in Texas, in New York, in California. Uh, you know, I said Australia, India, all over the world, people connected via uh, Skype, talking to each other, chatting with each other, looking for trades, 
and helping each other traders helping traders is our mantra and that way you are you know you're reinforced you know when you make it when you make a mistake there's someone there who knows and I'm in I'm in there too so you're associating with me because I'm in the chat room as well and um, in fact I spend way my wife says I spend way too much time in there but uh, I enjoy seeing traders you know pop their green arrows in or if they're having a struggle talking with them and helping them out and so we have a powerful association of traders and we're a good group in fact you know I've had um, I've I've had a, a dinner with uh, with some uh, I've met them privately when I'm on, tr on trips I make sure that I I, I go and visit um, I come back and I, I, I uh, uh, you know I'll, I'll go to their you know their city or their town and actually uh, you know we have a good time so uh, just fellowshipping with each other um, and uh, I met with Dr. Dr. Terrence Green a UT professor and um, you know we had a little coaching session had a little breakfast I met uh, with uh, um, I met with Matt over in from Oregon um, Chris in Oregon they both of them from Oregon in fact and so we associate and we're friends you know, Dries in in Chicago we got Chuck I associate with him uh, in Houston and so the, these people are, are become our fast friend pip friends and 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 they share their their failures they sell they share their their successes you know and we have our own little abbreviations in you New Zealand dollar gap limit out 58 pips and then credit goes to Greg for announcing entry some time ago we got Jerry Pan in there Chris Matthews there you know this will be the first time I've ever made money with pound dollar thanks Greg for giving me the confidence to trade pound dollar and then um, we have uh, someone who made 25% uh, for the week um, and uh, that's uh, that's powerful when someone goes you know they're associating with each other and they're and they're making money now and not everyone makes money and people lose too um, but at least you have a base to work from that okay maybe I'm losing but other people are winning maybe uh, you know can you give me some tips in fact uh, this is what Andre had to say when he came in and he says uh, this uh, this is a review that he typed in our website this was what I didn't know I was looking for until I found it I found that was so profound Andre says Greg and Forex paydays was what I didn't know I was looking for that I found it I've been position swing trading for many years with okay results when I decided to start day trading I found it very challenging I was struggling not to lose money I now abandoned most of my old swing strategies and explored the world of YouTube this made me even more confused until one day I found Greg yes on YouTube I watched some of his recorded live trading sessions and it all made sense so I more or less signed up immediately thinking that copying his trades during the live sessions might cover the fee and I was right after one month of attending to his boot camp I made a profit for me of a whopping 800 euros which is much better than zero euro <laughs> that was pretty funny because there's a rhyme there I gladly recommend Forex paydays to anyone looking to deepen their understanding in Forex trading the premium chat room too one thing I really enjoy where we can share setups and get them reviewed by the maestro himself that is Greg okay and that's uh, from from Andre from, from our $55,000 man okay and so you know people in the uh, again when you see someone making 345 pips like Chuck did one day and then we had another guy made 764 pips it all becomes like you know you're not associate if you so you know whoever you associate you you're judged by or you the product you're the product of what you read who you hang around with and you know what are your what are your hobbies you know what are your your at your activities and so who you got to ask yourself who are you hanging around with maybe you're losing because you're hanging around a bunch of losers I mean not to criticize your friends or anything like that but hey it's like look you're a loser I don't want to be around I'm sorry when you get your act together maybe but you if you eagles no eagles don't flock <laughs> but, but anyway but you want to get together with a team and a team of people who are thinking the same way and you want success will breed success okay and so uh, that's what uh, what Andre did and he's involved he's asking questions Greg do you think a swing position is wise on EA or Euro Aussie he uh, shared his charts 
Uh, momentum and daily is in my favor, and divergence is nice. So he's speaking the language already just in the few months that he's been in our in our boot camp. Okay. And then he says, harvest from yesterday's trades. He posted that. I missed the trend change on divergence. And uh, hello, Andre. Let's get the Swedish Pip Mafia going because uh, he's a Swedish person. So, But this is what he did. He did about $3,000 uh, in a live account, taking lots of trade. I mean, now, look at this. This is his. Now, we saw what mine looked like. Let's, let's go back up a little bit. And, okay, th this is mine. This is my trades. Okay, these are my trades. These are Andre's trades. Similar, these are Andre's trades as well. Even Andre says, I'm on fire today, thanks Greg. Great Andre, Chuck says. Plenty of pips, but small contract size, bigger ones scare me. Okay, so you can see the evolution that as we're moving along um, in our in, 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 with Andre, that he's taking more trades um, and he's increasing his position size and he's getting comfortable executing his plan and that's what we're here on this pillar the last pillar is executing the plan okay in fact uh, as we close he says I I have I have to thank you Greg you really made my transfer from the stock market to the Forex market a smooth ride I've made more profit in April than I've ever I mean ever done before okay and so he has a link and that link will show you um, his uh, his results almost all were divergences and trades some taken on the longer term um, and I go that's live yes that's great and this is the way I'm, I'm, where, you know, where, where we're at here you know this this is where the piece of resistance fifty five thousand five hundred and seventy dollars realize these this is his gain this is his gain okay He's. I've taken all pips for this week, so I'm off now. And I go. How long did that take you to create this profit? Oh, this uh, today, roughly two weeks. I go. That's wonderful, Andre. I'm very proud of you. You are my star student. And he says, "Lol, lol," or laugh out loud. That would be my first time then. So, so that's Andre. That's the case study. And you, you were going back to, you know, the pillars. The steps he followed and you have that opportunity too to to follow the same the same steps that that Andre followed 